The Real ID Act of 2005 won't affect most of the Fort Meade community too much, particularly those with DOD identification. We'll have more on where the greatest impact will be. Also this week it's tax season again, a note from the Education Center, and an Air Force NCO takes on the Marines. Hello and welcome to Meade Week, I'm Brian Spann. In December 2013, the Department of Homeland Security announced a phased-in enforcement of the Real ID Act passed by Congress in 2005. Basically, the Real ID Act sets federal standards for the issuance of identification such as driver's licenses. Individuals from those states that don't comply with those standards may soon find themselves having to produce a second source of ID when accessing federal facilities like Fort Meade or even taking a commercial airline flight. For most of the Fort Meade community with DOD ID cards, this should have little impact. According to the Visitors Control Center, it really affects contractors coming on post. We have a large group of contractors here and uh, who come from all over the United States and some of them fall into the category having an ID from one of the states that have not complied. Mr. Cartagena also says that Fort Meade residents expecting guests and visitors from the non-compliant states or territories should be aware of the new rules and there's another thing to remember as well. Some states have um, given people the option to provide them the information or not provide them the information so even some of those states who are compliant some of their driver's license will still not be valid because the, the individuals chose not to provide the states the information they required. If those states uh, issue driver's licenses, those licenses will stay on them, not for federal purposes. We've always had those. So that's not a big problem. We've always dealt with that. These are the states that are currently non-compliant. If you have any questions about the Real ID Act, go to the Department of Homeland Security website at www.dhs.gov and click on Frequently Asked Questions. In other news, the IRS started accepting income tax returns this week, and the Fort Meade Joint Installation Tax Center is ready with its grand opening on Monday, January 26th at the Legal Assistance Office. In the meantime, they are already taking appointments. You can call 301-677-9366. The tax center provides free tax preparation and electronic filing for all eligible service members, retirees, and family members. Once again, call 301-677-9366 for any eligibility questions. Elsewhere, Air Force Staff Sergeant Jessica Field, a member of the 707th ISR group, started the Marine Corps Martial Arts Program about five years ago. She's been hooked ever since and now stationed at Fort Meade. She shares her knowledge and training with not just the Marines, but all the services. I teach the Marine, or Marine Corps Martial Arts Program uh, course and I went through and got my instructor tab down at Quantico over in Virginia and it was a three week long course and basically it was me and a lot of Marines. <laughs> I was the only Air Force person there and the, as far as I know, the first Air Force female uh, to even do the instructor course at all. So just getting to go out and do things that as an Air Force member we don't normally get to do. So getting to go out and not just write a desk but to actually go out and do things like the obstacle course, do things like ground fighting, do things like, you know, actually fighting with weapons and things like that. I'm not just teaching Marines, but I'm also teaching Air Force, and I've helped out with uh, one of the other Marines teaching Navy folks as well. So, you know, it's not any one service, and that's one of the things that I like about it is that it isn't just a Marine thing, or it isn't just an Air Force thing. It's everybody, you know, the Marines have been more than accommodating any time, any base that I've been at. As soon as I say, hey, I want to come out and practice with you guys, or hey, I want to go out and do some fighting with you guys. They're absolutely all about it and they've all been very welcoming and very, you know, inclusive, if you will. In other news, a couple of education notes for next Thursday, that's the 29th. First from the Fort Meade Army Education Center, they're hosting a graduate school brown bag lunch and learn event on the 29th from noon to one. The entire community can receive information on graduate school degree plans, tuition assistance, and financial aid. That's the next Thursday at the Army Education Center on Zimborski Avenue. Meanwhile, the Army Transition Assistance Program, or TAP, is hosting a TAP Employer Program on Thursday the 29th from 1 to 3 at 2234 Huber Road. This mini career fair is open to all eligible DOD personnel. Call 301-677-9871 for more information. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week. The power of one small action, one conversation, or one phone call can make a difference in the life of a veteran going through a difficult time. For free 24-7 confidential support, call the Veterans Crisis Line or the Military Crisis Line.